Um, she's a lady we, we've known um, for many years, um, 30 years or so. Uh, she's always suffered from uh, extreme asthma and uh, she has deteriorating health. Um, she used to live with her mother in, in her mother's house. Um, she is still living in that house. Her mother died a, a couple of years ago. Um, she, uh, her health is now so bad that she has to take oxygen, so she, she has oxygen cylinders in her house. Um, she's gone blind in one eye and she's terrified she's going to go blind in the other eye. Uh, she is completely dependent on benefits. Um, she has no income herself. She's fortunate having her own house. Um, she steadfastly refuses to go into hospital or go into care. She's afraid of going into hospital because she saw, saw her mother go into hospital and <coughs> never come out again. Um, and uh, she doesn't want the same thing to happen to her. So she does have to make regular hospital visits. Uh, it's very difficult for her because she has difficulty moving around. Um, so it's not an experience she enjoys. Um, but she really does not want to stay there. Um, she's supported by her family. She has two sisters and they um, do her shopping for her, uh, come and help her clean the house and so on. Uh, but basically she sits in one room all day um, and uh, she's very much alone most of the time. Uh, she spends a lot of time talking to people on the phone, including us, and I think that's where she gets her um, uh, source of fellowship. Um, the, the problem I'd like to draw attention to is the difficulty that she has in obtaining benefits. Um, <clears throat> the benefit system is surely designed for people like her. It's designed, uh, as I understand it, because society believes that people who cannot fend for themselves and need support, should have support. We are, at the end of the day, a relatively wealthy society, although we have uh, severe problems of wealth distribution. Um, so th the benefit system should be able to support people like her. Uh, she was terrified when the government recently changed the benefit system because she thought uh, she was uh, going to lose some of her benefit, and indeed she has lost some of it. Um, so she's a little bit poorer now. But the worst problem for her is actually getting the benefits office to uh, respond to her. Um, so she suffers from uh, late payments uh, when things change and new paperwork is required. It's an enormous effort for her to deal with the, the paperwork. Um, she can only give it to her sister to mail to the office. She can't take it personally. Um, very frequently she calls the office and they say they haven't received the paperwork. That happens so often that it can't possibly be true. Um, occasionally the, the post office might lose something, but uh, I, I suspect it just gets lost in the benefits office. Um, she seems to be the victim of an extremely ruthless system. And my concern is that we're trying to generate um, an NHS, for example, that is patient orientated um, and cares for the welfare of people as well as their, their health. Um, our benefit system should also be doing that. It should be a caring, uh, compassionate uh, system, and it is not. It is a ruthless um, uh, system, almost designed to avoid paying the benefits that people need.